Hi, I'm Jeff Schroeder from the Smashing Pumpkins and Night Dreamer. And I'm here in beautiful Los Angeles demoing the Earthquaker Devices Plumes. And I'm matching it today with the Avalanche Run, which is a delay and reverb combo pedal. And we're running into a Supro amp that's set super clean. Um, so all the drive and is coming from the plumes. The reason I've paired these two together is, uh, number one, I'm a delay junkie. I very rarely play clean guitar without at least a little bit of delay and a little reverb. It's very natural for me to pair the two. And when I got here and plugged them in, it was just instant fun. We were just in mode one of the Earthquaker Plumes overdrive pedal, which is, I guess, called, they call it the symmetrical clipping, which I kind of not totally sure what that means. I read about those things all the time, but to me what that sounds like is kind of an amp cranked up. And what I really like about a sound like that is there's a lot of dynamic play within it. So depending on where I have the volume on my guitar, I can go from single note lines to chordal work and ride the volume to get the amount of gain I want. And I would use that over something like if, like in the Pumpkins, if we're playing and the band is kind of quiet and clean, I may use a sound like that to kind of ride over the top. Um, but that's, to me, things like this are, are things that I can utilize all day long because I really do like having that that dynamic range where it lets me as the player kind of decide like how much gain I want from it, um, depending on where I want to have the volume on the guitar. And uh, now we're gonna move on to mode two of the Earthquaker Plumes. So what you were just hearing was mode two of the Earthquaker plumes, which is the clean boost section of the pedal. And uh, normally I would run a clean boost into an already very distorted sound, usually an amp that's already maxed out gain wise. And if I want more saturation, I would use that or um, another overdrive or distortion pedal. But today I kind of wanted to just play it into the clean amp because sometimes I just like a boost just to add a little more character to the to a clean sound, especially if I'm playing a lot of single note lines, I want the note to kind of just pop out a little bit more. And so like in that example, I had like a pretty loud delay with a short time that I was kind of basically playing notes off again. So I like to have a sound that has a little more animation than just the straight clean sound. And that was mode two of the Earthquaker Plumes. And now we're gonna move on to mode three. <laughs>
was mode three of the Earthquaker plumes, which is the asymmetrical clipping versus um, mode one, which is symmetrical. Now, really what that means is, I, I don't really know um, from a scientific standpoint, but uh, from a sonic standpoint, to me that is like more like the classic, like Ibanez Tube Screamer type of um, distortion. But this one is going to be a, even like a tiny bit less mid-rangey maybe, but it may be just kind of the amp, but in a little bit smoother, which I kind of preferred. But something like that, I like it because it, you can still hear a little more of the clean signal kind of mixed in with the, with the overdriven signal, which I think is kind of a classic um, characteristic of that type of overdrive. And so in that particular example, I was kind of playing more like a swerve drivery, My Bloody Valentine type of thing. And of course, that's also great in front, in front of a really distorted amp too, to kind of give you some extra. In, in, in Smashing Pumpkins live, often for lead sounds and whatnot, I really do use that type of, sound a lot, but I also use it for um, for more chordal work as well into a clean sound as well. What I, what's something that's actually really great about the plumes pedal, which is something in my older age that I kind of gravitate towards is things that are kind of have immediacy to them because I like to be able to get sounds kind of quickly and on the fly because I'm often in situations, whether it's in the studio or live on stage where say we've added a new song to this set and I got to come up with this set of sounds like really quickly. I don't have two hours to kind of dial in the sound. I got to be able to come up with something within literally minutes. All three modes of this, I was able to kind of come up with the sound, with the delay and everything and the way the pedal interacted with the delay, with the guitar and the amp, like very quickly. And to me, that just make, gets me back to playing guitar instead of playing the pedal. And so it becomes more of a, a conversation between the guitar, the pedal, instead of the pedal kind of dictating the conversation. To me, that's something that I really look for in gear these days is that kind of that quick immediacy, and the plumes definitely is uh, on that track. Mm -hmm. 